Welcome to Kenzo Gaming. In today's short video, I will show you the unique units of Yugoslavia from the newest Wargame Red Dragon DLC. And yes, this is a non radar, long range anti air unit RS PVO Nieva M1T. Let's start with the logistics section, which offers, in addition to plethora of basic units, a well armored command tank, heavy supply truck, and also a supply helicopter. One of their key strengths lies in the infantry. It's true that their Shilo AA and Druk ATGM aren't superior to competition, however if we ignore their Chi World War II infantry we will notice a 15 man strong recoilless rifle Peshadia with 1400 meter range, Proletary 90 armed with 24 AP Strashen rocket launcher and their 15 man militia in 5 point transports TO Territorialna Obrana among other units. In the support tab we have plenty of choice for shooting down a Czerny Bombardera. We have Kub M, Wield Nieva like the Polish one and behold the ultimate Czerny Bombardera killer, non-radar, long range, RSPVO Nieva M1T. To kill helos we have plenty of choice too. Praczka is a long range helo killer though it has only two missiles. We have plenty of Sparks as well as an upgraded Strela 10 the M90 Sava with 2800 meter range, also great against helicopters. Then there are also MLRS, such as Ogain and Napalm MLRS, Orkan a heavy cluster MLRS, and Plamen S an MLRS capable of shooting smoke rounds. So this might be actually pretty good for a push. If you want regular RT you can take an ancient artifact in the form of Priest, or you take Nora B which is similar to the French Caesar. The most powerful tank is M91A Vihor with 22 front armor and AP power, 70% accuracy and excellent stabilizer, although it fires only 8 rounds per minute and you get only 2 of them. The second best tank is M91 Vihor which has only 18 armor, however still has 70% accuracy. Third best tank is M84A which is a high accuracy medium tank. This means that what Yugoslavia lacks in armor it has to make up with good accuracy and good stabs. Yugoslavia is a master of recon. In addition to standard recon units you get a 15 front armor 19 AP power medium tank with very good optics for only 100 dinar. On top of that you get powerful spark recon as well as a recon that looks like a BMP2 with a million Malutka strapped to it. As if it were a reactive armor. But watch out they strike in silence. And my favorite Senke, an elite commando unit armed with anti-material sniper rifle capable of penetrating armor. Similar to the one of Reki, great for actual CV sniping. A great vehicle is the Bov Raketash. Simply send infantry on foot to take a city and as soon as the enemy shoots at you, Bov Raketash will fire its rockets at the poor swords and rape them. Then we have Malutkas, Petr Malutkas and 24 AP power Malutkas for 30 points. But watch out, they fly slow and have a low range. To spy things up, you can always take a Jackson or a Hellcat. Not much choice in the Hilo tab, however with Gamma 2 you are wielding a cheap and spammable all purpose tank killer slash Hilo hunter. Probably will see them a lot in Hilo rushes. Then there is a helicopter armed to T's with a million unguided rockets and a helicopter with 128mm 4 high explosive power missiles. The perfect infantry and vehicle rapist. In the air tab in addition to plenty of choice such as bombers with iron bombs and cluster bombs we have the amazing super galep tank killer with 3500m range 30 AP power missiles, MiG-29 and of course the plane so many wanted. Novi Avion L19. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to Yugoslav National Army. Stay tuned for a 4 vs 4 battle involving everyone with a Yugoslav deck.